hi all welcome back to our channel today in this video let's discuss how to handle the recruitment process from your website using odoo 50 in this window we can see a menu with job position and two of the boxes where one is labeled with published and others not published here the published label will be directly gone to the website and the candidates can apply for the position by viewing the website in this dashboard, you can create as many job positions as required for your organization. So to create one, we can click on the create icon and a pop-up window will appear. Here we can provide the job position. After adding the required section, you can click on the create icon and you can see the job position consultant has entered into the main dashboard. You can see one in a star mark demonstrating that the position is in my favorites. So by clicking on the filters option, you can separate it into various options. By clicking on the three dots, you can see the edit button. So click on that. And you can see another window open after entering all the field you can enter into the recruitment process. So here we can provide the job description. Then here in the recruitment tab, we can provide the details like company, website, department, job location and so on. As you can see here that the company and the job location is auto allocated. Then we can choose the website. It is to restrict publishing to this website. Then we can choose a department. Then here we can provide the number of new employees you expect to recruit. Then we can enable or disable the is published option. It is to set if the application is published on the website of the company. Then we can choose a contract template. It is the default contract used when making an offer to an applicant. It is possible to start typing new contract template here. Then we can choose the interview form from the drop down menu. And finally here we can set the recruiter name. After providing all the details you can click on the save button. Apart from this, you can add the job position from the configuration tab. So here we can see the option job position, click on that. And here in this window, we can see the job position, department, website, current number of employees, expected employees, total forecasted, hired employees, status of the job position, published, company, etc. The window can be seen in the list view and also you can see in the Kanban view. And here we can choose the customizable features like filters, group by and the favorites. To create a new job position, we can click on the create icon and can provide all the necessary details. So here we can see the uh, job position that we have created now. So click on that. And here we can see the smart tab, go to website. While clicking on the smart button, go to website option. The position is redirected to the company website to enhance the candidates to apply for the job position. After reading all the requirements, the candidate can click on the apply now button to redirect it to the other pop-up window. Here we can provide the necessary details like name, email, phone number and also can provide the short introduction here. Then here you can see the option to provide the resume here. So the file can be chosen by clicking on here. Then click on the submit button. The window regenerates into another window while the candidates enter all the in required information. If you redirect to the main menu of the recruitment module, you can see the applicant applied for the job position has been changed. So we can check that.
as you can see here that one new application is generated into the highlighted box now let's move on to application tab from the main menu where you can see the two options like by job positions and all applications auto design the tab to control manage and get the details of all job applications or enroll for suitable job position for the recruitment process and now by clicking on the all application you will get the information of various candidates who applied for the different positions as seen here in this window we would be able to sketch all the details like applicant's name applied job subject or application name stage appreciation which gives you whether the candidate is more prioritized as to their performance in an interview you could give a star mark then here you can see the mobile tax recruiter and also you can see the creator date apart from the list view here we have the campaign view pivot view graph view calendar view and also you can see the activity view and also we can choose the filters group by and the favorites option to create a new application you can click on the create icon and here in this window we can provide the necessary details so first here we can provide the subject or the application name then here we can provide the applicant's name and here we can provide the contact details like email phone and the mobile then we can choose the educational qualification here in the job section we can enter the applied job so the department will be added automatically then here we can provide the tax recruiter name and here we can provide the three stars as excellent based on their performance at the time of the interview then here we can enter the referred by username and here in the contract section we can enter the expected salary proposed salary and also you can choose the availability date after filling the field you can get a customized report from the application summary and finally you can click on the save button to save all the information So here you can see that uh, the consultant job position has got two applications. So through Odoo 15, with the help of the recruitment module, we have analyzed how to post a job position on your company website and how to process a recruitment in different stages by starting with an initial phase of interview and contract proposal handing over to a candidate. On this Odoo platform, we can systematically appoint a candidate in your organization within a fraction of a second. So that's all about the video. Thank you for watching.